Hey guys, my name is Sidiac, and welcome back to another episode of Fool's Tale. Here in City Skylines 2, where we're now looking at, well, we're actually looking at two of them, our two brand new cargo ships, which are coming down our river for the first time ever as they approach our brand new cargo harbor that we set up in the last episode. Now, I don't, oh, actually, they do. Okay, so they're now starting to store some goods here. It's they're kind of they're taking a little bit of time to get things rocking and rolling. The trains have already arriving right now, but not much goods have been bought over because... In the grand scheme of things, it's been a while since I placed this here, but in game time, it's probably been an hour. <laughs> so we haven't given them time to bring the goods over right now, but we have now doubled the amount of exports that we can potentially have. So the city is going to make even more cash money moolah. Now, one thing I have not looked at or not even attempted to implement or do within my city is tourism. I don't even think I have any tourism. I'm not sure. I mean, I have the ability for them to come in via plane. I utilize this train station over here as the outer region kind of train station to let people come in. And in terms of tourist kind of attractions, I haven't even bought any. I don't think I've even focused on anything right now, which is kind of what I want to take a look at in today's episode. There's some very, very interesting stuff that we can implement. One of them is a space center or something like that. A space launch, a space shuttle, a space rocket. I'm not quite sure what that is. We're going to implement that and see what is actually going to go down. So if you are enjoying Fool's Town right now, want to see more of this City Skylines too, then make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, what are these guys complaining about? Air pollution? Oh, wait, hold on. Is it really starting to spread over slightly? I mean, kind of, yeah. They're getting the back end. They're getting the raw deal there. They're getting the back end of the smoke coming over, which kind of makes sense. <laughs> just kind of ignore it if you can't see it the problem don't exist uh but in tourism in general anyway i want to take a look at it right now so where is is this yeah there we go tourism it's the suitcase icon this shows us the amount of tourism that we currently have now the city attractiveness is does that mean 52 as in that's what the current rate is it's 52 percent attractiveness i mean that's not really i mean it's, it's zero is terrible but that's not really good is it we're getting over 6,000 tourists a month coming in. The seasonal weather effect right now, the snow is obviously having a decrease effect on it. And the average hotel night cost is 1,000. Whoa! It costs on average 100, no, $1,400 a night to stay in a hotel in Fool's Town. Who do we think we are right now? That is absolutely crazy, isn't it? That's ridiculous. But we'll see what we can do right now to kind of increase a little bit of tourism. Now, one thing I do want to look at in our progression, there's lots of stuff that I still need to kind of unlock in this. But the big one is, is it parks and recreation? No. Is it transportation? Yes. The space center. Now, we have the ability to implement the international, no, the, sorry, the space center there, which is the Chirp X space center is both a space museum as well as an active command center and rocket launch platform. These attract tourists and increase the effectiveness of industries and offices. I'm going to unlock this first, right? I want to get that. I also want to look at uh, tourist attractions. We'll come back to the tourist attractions in just a moment. But where, where's this? Does it fall on is it airports? The space, the Chirp X. It's basically like SpaceX, isn't it? Like Elon Musk style. Now, question is, where do I put it? <laughs> where do I put this right now? Um, it would kind of be a cool idea to have it in a nice little location. Maybe I can utilize this road leading over to there and having it at the end. What 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 does it do anyway? So we adds an extra 60 plus meals. I have no idea what that even means right now. 10% increase in demand for software. 10% increase in demand for electronics. Makes sense. 10% increase in university education interest. And 10% attractiveness citywide. Right. It's 4.8 million to build it as well. So let's kind of figure out what we're doing here then. So I'm going to bring this down to Earth. <laughs> Get a joke. And... I'll bend this round as it was going off there, but I'll also kind of connect up some type of a uh, junction. I think having it around here will be pretty nice. It's kind of secluded slightly out of the way. There's a mountain there. It's out of the way of the city slightly. 
It's also out of the way of the airport slightly. I know it's at the end of the runway, but, you know, when they launch rockets, I'm sure they will contact the uh, air traffic control tower to say, yo, we're shooting a rocket right now. Can you kind of delay your plane slightly? I mean, they'll all work in unison, right? They'll all work in unison. So I'm going to get down here an intersection, and let me see what I can potentially get in for one. I reckon... We could squeeze one in and around about here. Now, this is coming off a three-lane road as well, isn't it? So, that's on the ground. That's on the ground. I could do this, but it's also on the ground. This is a your standard connection. It's also on the ground. This is also on the ground. It's all So, we're going to have to make the elevation change no matter what. Now, I'm thinking... Hmm. What's small? Okay, the trumpet is small enough. But the problem is the trumpet, it leads on and continues the area. So it's not probably not the best one to implement. That's it. I want it to kind of bend round as well. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. We've got a fair few options. I mean, I could build my own, but I like the idea of the trumpet, to be honest with you. Because I could continue the highway running down to the space. Chir I want to keep on it SpaceX right now. It's Chirpex. I can get it to run down to the Chirpex as it's like its own main run of road. So if I implement you here, about there. Right, very good, very good, very good. And let me just connect everything now to it. So this will make sense in just a moment anyway. So I'm going to run this all the way down to there. Run you all the way up to here. So transition works beautifully right now. No stress. No stress. No stress, baby. And then we'll sort this all out. So we'll utilize this as being the entry point to the kind of Chirp X. SpaceX. Chirp. No, 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 no sorry. No, no, no. It, no, <laughs> it is Chirp X. Uh, area so how big is the actual building itself it's a reasonably sized building now i'm gonna make it kind of slightly stick out in the water a little bit and the entrance is just there just so it kind of hangs out i kind of feel like that's how it should go now level the terrain we should need to find a nice little level as well so if i kind of go about there is that going to be way too high it's going to be way too high, but I feel like building a nice platform for this feels about right. So I'll kind of roughly get it down, and then we'll kind of smooth everything to it. Is that big enough? No. No, that's not big enough. So bring this out a little bit further. We'll go to here. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Level terrain. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> well, that's got to be big enough, right? So that would go... Th Wait, does it need to be in the water anyway? No, it doesn't. I, I was going to get really confused then for a second. So if I place this here, right? If I place that there, I like the fact that it kind of slightly sticks out of the water. We're smoothing it all off anyway, so we've got a bit of space to play around with. How close is... Right, we've got to be careful of the shipping route. It is pretty close, but if I then smooth and soften the terrain, we'll first start with the bottom bit. There we go. Try and push this out as much as we can. There we go. Because I want it to look... I mean, it's never going to be natural, but you want it to look as natural as you can possibly get it. And then smoothing all down here. Smoothing all you. Right, let's do the strength a lot stronger as well. Under the brush size a lot bigger. So a little bit more space to work with. So going all the way around here. Smoothing all this off. Push it now back. And then reduce it again a little bit more. Work with the bottom here. So we're now bringing the bottom of the riverbed slightly out. Which will allow me to push only ever so... Like literally millimetres out right now. You can push out... The top bit. So, it's artificial in that regards. It's artificial, the kind of land that we've created for it. The ships can pass by, which is plenty of room for them. 
and then the rockets can be launched and we've got our own dedicated highway connection for it as well oh this is exciting it really is quite exciting so let's first then get a road set up for it so let's do the initial kind of breezing past setup and then we'll run this down to here um, where's the edge of this so we'll go just to there with that it's just more for like the decoration purposes and then we're going to run this and connect in so i reckon what we do is utilize a four four lane road with a divider that sounds about nice um so we'll go to there and we'll push it a little bit further back and i've got to just quickly figure out where the center would be so i'm gonna try and like connect it in as a roundabout and then we'll delete that connection so we kind of no actually no why don't we swoop it in so why don't i utilize and we'll go two lane because we can use the the third lanes as the uh the slip roads so if i go there that connects up beautifully and if i just kind of figure out the best positioning for this so if I go there, because there's not going to really be that much traffic, so you kind of have a little bit of freedom to play around with this. So that's an 89 by an 80, by a 90. That will work out really well. It's just a little bit of fun, isn't it? So I don't know if we'll actually build anything else around this at the moment. I don't quite think so just yet. But I'm wondering if I can use the road um, upgrades right now to bring some street lighting down. Now, I'm going to have to go into the electric view and do this. We don't have the, the highway. No, it doesn't. It doesn't connect how I would want it to connect. So I'm wondering if I can upgrade this to there so it runs the power line all i'm trying to do right now is run the power line through all the way down to there so that will give it its power but it won't give it its sewage and water abilities just yet so for those we'll have to manually connect them in ourselves. so we'll kind of just run all the way along there we go we'll just go diagonal oh no it's gonna it's gonna clash There we go, straight into there. And then that should give us everything that we technically need right now. So just wait if that's a kind of finalized slightly. Now it does become a little bit of a tourist attraction, doesn't it? So is it worth maybe throwing down some car parks? Parking. I mean, we've got underground car parking. I do large car parking facilities. I like the idea of the large car parking facilities. So if I brought, say, this road out to there... And then same with this one. And I wonder if I... No, actually, I won't go any further just yet. So I could implement a decent-sized car park here and then here. And then do one there and then there. I know they dig into the ground slightly. So we'll have to first level the terrain out. And then smoothen it. like that all the way down to there so a few little car parking spaces i'll save the room here right now so we can kind of play around and do other stuff with it and uh, there we go so this requires employees so nothing's gonna happen it's quite expensive in terms of the upkeep a month um has a nice little attractiveness right now so that oh wait, you get a little boost from the forest the beach proximity the, the height terrain as well that's kind of cool so yeah we are now Wait, hold on. S vehicles and use space rocket, which is... Oh, we, oh my goodness me, of course. It's right here. So I wonder when it actually launches. Apparently it's en route. I wonder when it actually does launch. But we don't have any employees here at the moment anyway. So we'll have to wait for those to kind of come in. So while that does what it's got to do then, we've now got the connection there. So I can actually bring this down, which will eventually connect to... S one of these will turn into a proper connection. Um, where this all kind of connects to it as well. 
but I get the ability now to access this area. No idea what I'm going to do with this area just yet, but um, yeah, tourism stuff then. So tourism stuff is stuff that I can't see. Oh, there's only three. There's only three options you can unlock here. Let's take a look at this tourism stuff. So what is it? It is. We have the ob oh the rocket boys. The rocket! Oh my goodness me! Do we have employees now? No, it, it just launched itself. It actually just launched itself. I gotta take a screenshot of this right now. This is, this is now becoming the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> Holy smokes! That's kind of crazy. All right, so back into pl uh, play mode, sorry. It's now glitching as it shoots up. <laughs> That's kind of cool to see, isn't it? Like, I mean, I mean, yeah. I suppose on the next launch, you might get people over here as tourists coming to view the area. But um, yeah, this, this tourist stuff, by the way. So we have the Observation Tower, which um, reach, reaching for the skies, this building is perfect and on which to enjoy the scenery. So all the, I mean, it's weird, isn't it? Because they don't want it here, but yet they'll quite happily have it over here in the residential areas. We have the bronze statue, a masterpiece in bronze casting, a massive, uh, this massive statue, which is tourist. Uh, the base is accessible to visitors and other amenities. So it needs a road access. That's pretty much like the Statue of Liberty. And then we have the water park, which is really more of a summer activity. But uh, I like the idea of the observation tower. It, it makes more sense to be in the bigger city area and not so much around here. I don't know where you would actually put something like this, thinking about it. I mean, everything, everything in this game is telling me not to pull it on this side, but it where it kind of makes the most sense in a weird way, isn't it? it just, it's going to stick out a sore, like a sore thumb on this side. Maybe around here we can implement it. Okay, what if I reallocated the college? I know it has quite a lot of people going to the school. But if I reallocated the college to maybe over here. And then put the that tourist attraction over here. How does that look? Oh my goodness me. Do you know what? It doesn't actually look too bad there. It doesn't actually look too bad. But what I'll do... Is I'm going to build a little bit of an alley road going around the edge of it. We'll make it come off of that one. It's not perfect like a, and a connection. But doing that so I can then zone some stuff around this. So what would go here perfectly? Offices would go really well. But we don't really have the demand for offices at the moment. And high density residential. Who wouldn't want to live next door to this huge needle? But just putting that in right now, we'll build more skyscrapers around it and give it more of the illusion that it's, you know, within the area. It, is, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. We'll see what happens. I'll let it grow me and see what happens. Now, the bronze statue. Now this, obviously, it's got to be in the green areas. I kind of want it near the water. But then again, what if I didn't get it near the water and I pull it, like, somewhere around here? No, I feel like I want it near the water. So if I deleted that road there, and then, I mean, is this connecting to it? Overlapping items. What's the overlapping item? 
Oh, a signature building. Right, let me move this around here. Right, if I put that there, and then put this here, it's like my very own version of the Statue of Liberty. Uh... <laughs> if this doesn't bring the tourist boys, I don't know what will. Now, we also have a water park as well. Now, this is a very small, very small kind of building itself. I don't really have any, like, beachy areas that it kind of makes sense to kind of place it on. So, yeah. I mean, we have the slums. All that sounds shocking to build it around there. I mean, over here might be a good idea. I, mean, I want to place it there. I want to see what it's like. It's a water park, isn't it? It's right opposite the software development offices being overlooked by the medical facility. Yeah. Oh, and by the... <laughs> okay, it makes sense. There's pumping stations there, so it kind of makes sense now to have the water park there. It makes no sense. Right, is the rocket gone? It's fully gone now, hasn't it? Yeah. The rocket has now fully gone. Any people working here yet? No one's working here yet. No one is actually working here. What a shock. What a shock. Now, we do have landmarks I can also throw in. I've kind of already placed down the Grand Hotel. Now, the Ferris wheel is a good one. Why is it they don't want any landmarks around this area? The Notre Dame, the... Where we go over here? The Bell, the National Diet Building. Wait, what? Um, botanical gardens the art gallery these are large buildings oh wait hold on is the green leisure I'm thinking the green is where they want it to go it's not is it it's my current leisure marking oh I'm an idiot I'm an absolute idiot now I've just realised now I've just realised what the green was meaning if you were shouting at me in the comment section right now, I do apologise. I'm an absolute fool. Um, right, we have a welfare office here, which I'm now going to reallocate. Because I want to reposition some stuff. So that's a four-lane road here. Which, if I continued the four-lane road, it would lead to passing this area here. Now, just currently end it... No, actually, we'll end it there. And then in. Right, reason for that is... I am going to now place down... The National Gallery thing. So I want to place that just here. I know it doesn't quite align right now. But let me just... Uh, reposition you, the Welfare Office. Can I put that somewhere else? Is there room anywhere else? The answer is going to be no. There's no room at the inn. Right, I'll just throw it there for now. I'll throw it there. So we'll extend this four lane road just to kind of end here. So we have the big National Gallery boys. Already got the employees there anyway. We'll provide some nice little additional, additional, um, Leisure ratings, if that's what you want to call it. Now we've got the Notre Dame. Can I get it on there? Um, we have the. I'm not sure what this is even called, to be honest with you. You gotta be careful of the flight path as well. <laughs> the Ferris wheel is the same as well. You gotta be careful of the flight path. Um, right. I kind of want this near the water, like the London Eye. But it's quite difficult for me to, to even implement something like that in. And they're all pretty big as well. Have you noticed these are like really, really big buildings? Oh, I can squeeze the Notre Dame in here. There we go. Do I want it there or more in the centre? I feel like I want it more in the centre for it to be surrounded by skyscrapers I'm implementing that there it's surrounded by skyscrapers 
as where the old town meets the new town. Right. Um, how big is this? I feel like I need to like create like nice little. This is a big building as well. I feel like I need to create like nice little kind of places for all of this stuff. If I placed you here, or do I place it? I want to place it there. Which means I need the road to then run. It's it's a shocking shocking road setup around here right now. But you got to do what you've got to do. What does this even do, by the way? This building is where both houses of the Japanese legislation and national diet meet. It was completed in 1936. It is constructed almost solely out of Japanese materials. I mean, it doesn't really make sense me building this here, does it? No. But if it, if it provides tourism, I'm all for it. Wait, I've I literally just placed this building in and now the garbage is piling up. Do we have a garbage issue? Surely we don't have a garbage issue already, do we? Where's garbage? Recycling? No. How have they got garbage already? That I'll never know. I will never know. Now, the bot botanical garden, I feel like... This is something over here we could do with. Because there's lots of tourism around here. There's a road there, which is the kind of the country lane road. Uh, or even over here. Do you know what? I'm going to place it over here near the slums. Just to give these guys a little bit of leisure. This is the Nam Daemun. I'm probably butchering this right now. It's the Fortress Wall of Seoul in South Korea. Right, we'll save all that stuff. Um, big sports area, community pools, soccer fields. Right behind the botanical garden over there. Now, in terms of leisure, has that taken us from 52 upwards? We're now 51. I don't even know what that means at this point. If you might one of these things, we just have to give it a little bit of time. Now, when will we be generated with a new rocket? They've already generated us a new rocket, which will get launched at some point. Still have no employees over here right now. And nobody wants to visit it, apart from that sole garbage truck. But yeah, at least we're now able to access this area and work of it. So, time will tell if we then start getting more tourists. One ship's already going out right now. There's another ship just here. Oh, another ship's just going out as well. Okay, we've had multiple ships already go out. This one's now leaving with nothing on board, which is not a problem. This is now starting to store more goods, so they're only now just starting to bring stuff over here. This train has got livestock and paper on board so we are now exporting well we we're going to be very shortly exporting from this side now there's my cargo plane which does not want to um export anything they're just using my airport for storage at this point shocking mate absolutely shocking so time will tell on how lucrative the tourism will become we shall see the Notre Dame's got um, employees over there. So is this building. So is this building. Did the Space Thingy Tower got employees? And we are now building around it as well. So those skyscrapers will kind of make it feel a little bit more at home. I don't know how I feel about this tourism side of things. I feel like it's just kind of completely random buildings, if I'm being completely honest with you. But uh, next episode, anyway, boys, we'll look towards sorting this area out because there's not really a fat lot going on. Um, I'll get to create a better intersection for this here. Um, I'm not sure if we'll kind of make this extend over because as this comes all the way down and it meets down here and connects to there, we might do. We might do. It kind of help us out. But we can then work with this area as well and uh, we'll see what we can kind of get up with. Very, very exciting, boys. But... There's a lot of destructions that happen. There's a lot of zoning I still need to get in. And I've got to kind of think to myself right now. Do I want to build more population? Or do I want to take slightly some population away for the fact that the game will run a little bit smoother? I haven't decided yet. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>